in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install and set up GeForce Now. So for those of you that don't know what NVIDIA GeForce Now is, it's basically a program that you can install onto your Windows 11 computer and if you don't have the best hardware specs, then you are able to stream these big AAA games to your computer and you can then play them. So you can basically play games that you wouldn't normally be able to play on your computer with your hardware specs. So the first thing you need to do is click on the link that's in the description below and you will then end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to go ahead and select download at the top and you now need to scroll down and click on download under Windows PC. Once the download has finished, you then need to run the setup file GeForce Now will then open once it's finished installing and you will end up with a window that looks like this. So as you can see at the moment it's just doing a little guide showing us how to use the program. So I'm actually going to go through the steps of using GeForce Now. So the first thing you need to do is select login in the top right hand corner and you then need to log into your GeForce Now account. Or your NVIDIA account. If you don't have an account then you can select join today and you can then create an account. I'm going to sign into my account now. Once you have signed into your account you now need to select the three lines in the top left hand corner and you then need to click on settings. We now want to just make sure we're happy with the settings that GeForce now has selected. So as you can see at the moment my server location is on auto. You want to click on the drop down and you now want to select a server that's close to you. So I'm in the EU, which means I want to select a server in the EU. I'm just going to select EU Central for now. You can click on Test Network to run a test if you want. And once you have finished doing the network test, you will then get the results. As you can see, you've got the measured, required and recommended. Mine actually meets the requirements for the recommended, which is absolutely great. The server I chose is fine. If your measured results are really bad and they don't even meet the required or the recommended, then choose a different server. So once you've done that, press OK and we can now scroll down more. You now have the streaming quality. By default, mine's on balanced. You have three different options. You have balanced, data saver and competitive and you can also choose custom. I would recommend that you use the custom option and then play around with the settings below until you find the settings that suit your computer and your network. So the next thing you want to do is scroll up and you now want to connect your accounts. So to be able to stream games that require purchasing you will need to be signed into your account that you've got the games on. So for example, if I want to play one of my Steam games, then I need to connect my Steam account. If I want to play a game that I purchased on Epic Games Launcher, then I need to be signed into my Epic Games. I'm going to go ahead and sign into my Epic Games account now by clicking on Connect. But once you have connected your account, you will get a message saying Account Connected. We can now press Close and click on the three lines in the top left hand corner and go on to Games. You can now choose the game that you would like to stream. You will be able to stream free to play games for free. But games that require purchasing, for example the new Far Cry 6 and games like that, you will have to sign into your Ubisoft account, purchase the game and then connect your Ubisoft account to GeForce Now if you want to stream the game through GeForce Now. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Fortnite. So to launch a game all you need to do is hover over the game and then press play. It will then begin to connect to your account and then launch the game. So as you can see, Fortnite has now launched on my computer using GeForce Now. So if you do want to open up the GeForce Now menu, all you need to do is hold down Control and press G. And you will then get the GeForce menu on the left hand side. So that is how you set up and install GeForce Now onto your Windows 11 computer. I hope this tutorial has helped you out and you enjoyed it. If it did, Click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.